Eiyao Komatsu thinks he can transform F1's worst team. Here's why he might be right. The word at dinner on Friday and Saturday night in Miami was that Max Verstappen, the reigning Formula One champion and current points leader in the 2024 driver standings, would win again at the Miami Grand Prix, the only man to ever win the race since its inception in 2022. This was the word even among Ferrari, which has increasing reasons for confidence these days. Lewis Hamilton is set to join the team next season as a driver, and legendary designer Adrian Newey might as well. Ferrari also just unveiled a new car, the 12 cylindry, the direct successor to the 812 Superfast, and, in qualifying on Saturday, Ferrari finished second and third with Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, respectively. Ferrari is a racing team on their way back up, attached to a sports car company that is doing better than ever, joined with a lifestyle brand that does its best to feed off the success of the other two. In Miami, all three combined for what Ferrari called a takeover of Miami, first at a glitzy event on Thursday for clients to show the 12 cylindry, a separate unveiling of Ferrari's Miami inspired fashion collection, and then the weekend's showpiece, the sixth F1 race of the season. The only problem was Verstappen, who reduced last year's Formula One season to a question of who was finishing second, and is threatening to do so again this year, the world's best driver with the world's best Formula One car with the world's best Formula One team. Such were the expectations, at least, before the race on Sunday in the Miami Heat, with track temperatures in the triple digits and Verstappen finishing fastest in qualifying for Saturday's sprint race. Verstappen winning Saturday's sprint race comfortably, and Verstappen finishing fastest in qualifying for the Sunday Grand Prix, too. Instead, a McLaren driven by the British driver Lando Norris won the Grand Prix, beating Verstappen by more than 7.6 seconds. The Ferraris didn't do half bad either, with Leclerc finishing third and Sainz, who will be replaced by Hamilton next year, finishing fifth. The race went off without major incident amid decent conditions for a car race, if a little hot. Norris beat Verstappen straight up, a result that surprised more than a few because drivers in Miami have to negotiate corners that normally favor the Red Bull car instead of the McLaren. Instead, Norris took advantage of the clean air in front of him and silenced some of his critics in the process. So happy to put, the winless streak to bed, Norris said, and prove a lot of these people wrong, because as much as I love to see it and I go on Instagram and I like all the comments of people abusing me, I freaking love it, it makes me smile more than anything, especially Lando no wins.